Fortune grew up the son of two military parents. His father, Craig, now retired from the Air Force, and his mother, Angela, is still an active member of the U.S. Army. Angela, she's now stationed in Kuwait, and it hasn't always been easy for the family, in particular Josh, with her being deployed overseas. We were able to speak to Angela from Kuwait over FaceTime as a part of this story. From the time Josh Fortune was born, he was always very close with his mother, Angela. Words can't really describe how close they were, but um, he depended on her for a lot of things. Oh gosh, Joshua and I were inseparable. We were very close. We were together all the time. He was just a kid. So it wasn't very much he could do without me taking him and or being there with him. Despite both mother and father being in the military, Josh and his brother Craig never had to deal with being away from their parents until Angela was deployed to Afghanistan before Josh's senior year of high school. I didn't want her to go over there. I first thought, you know, um, having her always around my whole life, just having to change, having um, her not there. I missed Joshua um, enormously. I missed him a lot. It was very difficult. I thought she was going to be over there, like, in the trenches every day and, you know, shooting guns and fighting. Josh, you know, he holds a lot of stuff internally himself, uh, so I pretty much would play off of his nonverbals. I'd bring it up and we'd discuss certain things and situations. That first year I was in Afghanistan and I was living in a tent and I was listening to rounds go off every night after night after night. A lot of times it was the, um, it was just the thoughts of getting back home and being able to be with family again and watching another basketball game or talk with my sons that kept me going while I was away. While she was gone, I had to like grow up and kind of make my own decisions as time went on. So it was just, I guess it was a learning process for me as well for her. Angela returned home after Josh graduated from high school and has since been promoted to Colonel and deployed to Kuwait while Josh has been at Providence. I think about it every day. Every morning I wake up, I think about her and I'm just, all that she's been through. Before games, I, you know, I see a prayer and I just pray that she's safe over there and that I'm um, doing this kind of for her and my, my family. And Fortune bears. Thanks to online streaming, Angela has seen most of Providence's games this season and she'll let Josh know what she thinks of his play. I think he's had some pretty good games and then he's had some games where I wish he had had a better game. He has something a little extra to play for because I'm pretty sure that he can hear her voice in his head like when he would do something wrong or anything. I'm telling him he's got to trust his coach, he has to trust his teammates, and he has to trust his instinct. Fortune again, he checked. Yeah. She's my biggest uh, critic, I always say. She tells me when I don't do something, when I could have did this or that. So. I get mad at sometimes for, for saying that, but you know, it's, it's, it's what mothers do. I am very proud of my family and particularly Joshua. I was nervous leaving him when he was 16 and turning 17, but he's proved that um, when he's away from family that he's gonna do the right thing. So I, I am proud. She means the world to me. She's my hero. Her being over there shows how the time that she put in day and night, it shows that she, you know, just putting in the work, you will get to where you wanna be.